Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm having a great day, great night. In today's video, we're gonna do a lot of food processing, fall stuff, more food processing. It'll be super exciting. So before we get into this, please get a thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure to share this video with two friends. Let's get into it. So this day, I didn't get much filmed, but I wanted to show um, this little pumpkin thing I was doing. So this was a pumpkin that came out of my backyard. Um, it fell out of the mulch bin, if you guys remember that whole saga, but this one I didn't even plant. It fell out of the mulch bin, punned itself, and I've been getting a whole bunch of these pumpkins. And so I want to make pumpkin puree. So I first took out all the seeds, cut them in half, well cut them in half, took all the seeds, and then I baked them on 475, um, 425, I can't remember, one of those. And cooked those up for a while until they looked really, really soft, and then I took out um, I scooped out all the, the rest of everything, all the meat of it, and then put in the um, food processor and then froze it. I also wanted to save all the seeds because honestly this plant was awesome and produced so much and was so big. So I definitely wanted to save them even though they will be a half mix of something else. But anywho, so got all those, got them onto a paper plate with some napkins and getting them ready to let them dry out so I can plant them next year. So this was another day, I only really filmed one thing I did, and that was making Navajo tacos, which was super delicious. You know, when you're craving something, you're pregnant, you gotta make it. So did that, made up all the dough, and it was really yummy because I was even able to go out to the garden and get some cherry tomatoes to put on top. And don't worry, yes, they are green tomatoes, but that was the variety that I planted, so they were totally meant to be green. So this day I was working on processing tomatoes so I was just cutting them up so I could put them into my little pint jars and get them ready. Alright so this day I definitely got a lot more footage which will be great. I'm starting off my basil plant definitely needed some harvesting. So I went through and got off all the leaves so I could dry them and then use them in different kind of foods and recipes. I took off all the big ones and left any of the small ones so we can keep growing more and getting more basil. After that, I went through with some eggs. I usually buy them in a five dozen, and we're putting them into the smaller little containers so they're easier to fit into the fridge and to grab out of the fridge. Super excited, because that night I gotta go see Hunter Hayes. I'm in concert with my sister, and Hunter Hayes is just kind of our thing we have together. We just really like Hunter Hayes music. And so going to get to see him and listen to his music was awesome. It was great. So on this day, I was making bread. And a little sad story. It's not sourdough because I killed my sourdough start. It honestly has just been rough being pregnant and I was just down so much. And it had died and done weird stuff. And 
I didn't even want to try to salvage it and ended up dumping it. We'll start a new one soon. Hopefully in the next week in my life it will be made again. But as of right now, there is no sourdough and so this is just normal French bread. So part of the reason I was making bread this night is because I wanted to make homemade, gr homemade grilled cheese. I can't talk. And so I was doing that and also wanted to make up a homemade tomato soup. So I started out with cutting up the onion. So next, after I got all the spices and everything into the soup, I try to mix it with this, whatever they're called, the hand blenders things. And I cannot, I've tried to use the hand blender a few different times and it will never actually mix up everything like I see other people's. Am I missing something? Is there something off? Like I could use any tips because I can never get it to work. So I ended up having to pour it into the food processor and mix it that way to get it into a nice smooth soupy texture. So on this day I was super excited because I've gotten back into exercising which is something I have not done since being pregnant. I've just been so yucky and weak and just laying down a whole lot and resting so finally I've been feeling good enough second trimester to start exercising. I love these straps. I actually got these ones from Walmart and um, they're pretty cheap and this helps me to be able to exercise and not feel like I'm going to be falling or anything and even do something as simple as squats and having them there as support just helps me feel a little bit better and it's just been so nice and it's something I just do from home um, and work on a little bit each day. So back to food processing, um, I had someone from my hometown who had a bunch of grapes so I went over there to pick a bunch for homemade grape juice. I also got some apples from a local orchard so I was working on getting those all sliced and skinned so I can put them into the freeze dryer. My mom has a freeze dryer and then I'm actually going to put them into fruit, the food processor and make homemade baby food, so excited for that. So on this day I wanted a little update on my basil plant. You can see that already the leaves are coming back in, so we'll have more basil in it. The next thing I wanted to share is making homemade Keto. So we were, we as in me, <laughs> I was cutting up the onions for the taquitos and then put in the onions and the beans and the spices into the pan and then let it steam for a while until everything was nice and mushy and the tomatoes were invisible and I could smash the beans. So this night I was working on processing chicken. I had gotten a big box of like 40 pounds of chicken and I was cutting it up. So pretty much you just need one chicken breast and you put that into a pint jar with a little bit of salt and water. Well, actually you don't even need water. I forgot. Don't add water. Chicken will make its own liquid and really it's chicken and salt and then you pressure can it, which is probably the hardest but also so nice to just be able to have canned chicken whenever you need.
Also, this was just a random night, but I wanted to test out the apples. If you remember, they were we were freeze drying them, so I got them all freeze dried, and I sprayed them into the freeze dryer to make them into baby food. So it's really easy. Put them in, grind it up, and then I did rehydrate it, and it was like perfect. So definitely doing this with more food. So this day was the day I was canning the actual chicken. So putting it into the pressure cooker, I was able to do two layers of chicken and then put the lid on and pressure it. It took definitely a long time and really loud, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So this day was actually a general conference. That's where anyone from my church, we just sit around and we listen to a lot of inspirational talks about Christ and just being better. So I started out the morning by making biscuits and gravy as per Logan's request. So I don't think I've really addressed in this video, but yes, I've been feeling a lot better. Second trimester goodness has finally kicked in and I've been able to get a whole lot done, which has been fabulous. And if not, I could not have gotten all this stuff done and gotten all this fruits and vegetables and meat preserved. So normally, as I am listening to general conference, I like to really sit and take notes a lot better. And I had a box of peaches. Then I need to do the same thing that I was doing with apples and they were going bad so quick. So I listened and did the peaches and then took notes. My notebook is on the side so I can still take notes and got a whole lot of peaches ready to freeze dry. After peaches, I had to work on some peppers because I eat a lot of peppers in my breakfast burritos every morning. So I was trying to freeze a lot that I was able to get from my mom's garden. So remember those grapes I went and picked? Now is the time where I was working on getting them all ready. So I was taking them off the stem and getting them all ready. Grape juice is another simple, easy thing. Actually, I think all this stuff is simple and easy, but it's grapes, it's sugar, water, pretty easy. And last little clip I wanna show is the day I went and got some pumpkins from a local pumpkin patch that I just love and also from a little um, other place that has pumpkins and I have all that I need for this fall. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys like this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Hope you have a great day, great night. God bless.